more Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, and Ooh. now we're going to oh, Carnival right. Night. We're going to Casino Night Zone. No, it's Carnival Night. Casino. Oh, God. No, this TV is Nights in the Dreams. I've, I've been here before. I'll sing it, guys. Don't make me sing it. Don't make me sing it. I sing it every Let's Play I've ever done. It's going to happen at some point. Did you sing it when we did Scott Pilgrim? I, ooh, I feel like I did. It's been a little while, though. Okay. <laughs> I definitely at least hummed it. I sang it with John. John and I did the Christmas Nights, and there's a thing, there's an extra thing you, you can unlock where you can actually literally, like, sing along. <laughs> and John and I sang it. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, but it was... <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was pretty bad. Basically, if you watch that, forgive me. <laughs> I will not. Are you ready? I'm, I'm not ready. Do, 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 do. This is another Mario 3 song. But it's in like a mariachi style. I'm okay with that. Ooh. This is good. Yeah, that is good. And now they add they add, now they add the actual let the arrows and the hammers hmm. that you gotta hit. Interesting. I can see this actually being a decently difficult game. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to try the hard mode yet, but I assume yeah, on the hard mode it would be like a a good challenge. <laughs> So in Pump, actually, it's really interesting. You can actually do cooperative charts uh, with the game that I play now with the five arrows. You can actually do both pads at the same time, and you can actually play cooperatively with somebody else where you jump around each other on the pad. I can see they do something really interesting with that on here. Yeah, that would be cool. It's just I know, just it's it's just so hard to do it in a console because you yeah. need to have two need to have two people on two pads. Yeah, and it's like really hard to find people mm -hmm. who have that. Well, the other problem too is the harder it gets, like, uh, so this is why I don't play on home at home anymore. Is uh, a you wear out the pads faster when you do harder um, songs. Like you're just you're just stomping quickly, and then um, I have attempted to do double charts on home consoles and what happens no, ma no matter how you do it no matter what you try to do unless you try to anchor the pads down somehow uh the pads will split apart kind of like the parting seas and you have to and you're like <laughs> <laughs> even if you try to because like usually you're playing on carpet you don't usually want to do that on a hard floor and then if you if you do anchor them down to a hardwood floor or something like that um the pads just start breaking apart <laughs> like ripping so that's not good either yeah, no, mat no matter when, I, always whenever I try to play it, the the pad always like starts moving, moving. so it will start getting closer, it will start getting further away, and I always have to keep like pushing everything back to center. I one time That's accidentally the most annoying thing. Yeah, I one time accidentally because of that happened. I didn't realize I was playing a harder song. The pad had gotten so close it actually started touching the console, and I accidentally kicked a PS2. Uh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that was not mine. <laughs> That's the greatest selling console of all time. How dare you? Well, it's a testament to its, its power too, because that nothing got scratched and it still works. <laughs> was it was it a fat or a slim? It was a fat. It was God, a fatty. Did... <laughs> Husky, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> does your does your fat still play uh, old games like PS One games on it? Uh, I haven't pulled out that one in a while. The last time I played it, it was like I think it was blue discs. It wouldn't play, but it played everything else. Yeah. Blue discs and black di black discs for me it doesn't play because the laser is so old. See now mine isn't racist it plays black discs but the blue ones <laughs> not <Damn>. as much. <laughs> also now suddenly Wario's the villain. Waluigi was so boring he only got level one world one <laughs> of the Dance Dance Revolution. And spoiler game. <laughs> alert he never comes back. I mean that's not a spoiler that's just expected. I, I can't watch this part of the video. I'm scared of roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> what song is this? It sounds like Rainbow Road for a second, but... It's, it's from Double Dash. I never played Double Dash. <gasps> Ooh. It's the best yeah. Mario Kart game. 
Uh, no. Yes, it is! I can't say because I never played it, but I will take your it, it's word a for it. It's a decent game. It's not the best Mario Kart. What do you guys feel is the best Mario Kart game? Probably 8. 8 is a lot of fun. 8 is a lot of fun. In, ter in terms of how it, it handles and plays, yes, but um, and I'm not counting the Switch ports, but as an entire package, Mario Kart 8 feels uh, slightly empty due to just how piss poor the battle mode is. Yeah, probably, probably, it's probably the, the one that I've I've put the most time into is probably Mario Kart DS. Yeah, like, DS was going to be my second uh, option. It, it, it's one that everyone seems to hate, but I used to love playing uh, Super Circle on the GBA. Like I played the shit out of that as a kid. But it's every, decent. Everyone seems to like view that as the worst one, which um, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an avid Mario Kart player. I mean, I have all. I have all of them, and I played them all. But like, I don't play them religiously. But apparently, Super Circuit seems to be the one everyone hates. Where for me, I think the worst one is 64. Come at me, bro. I think that game is aged I mean, terribly. yeah, it's it's. I, mean, it's, I think 64 is overrated, but the uh, same, the, yeah. the AI cheats like a motherfucker. Why do you not like Double Dash? Double Dash, no, Double Dash is fine. I just, it's, it's, I, mean, I don't know. It's just something about it never never stuck with me. It just. Uh... I th I think. Uh... What it, I think uh, Mario Kart Wii is really fun, even though it's probably technically it isn't really that good of a game because how broken everything about it is. I did enjoy yeah, I would, Wii. I would I would probably put Wii down there with 64 as like if I had to rank him, Wii would probably be down as well. Like I'd probably rank Double Dash above Wii, but I didn't, I didn't like Wii uh, as much. Honestly, it's like when you really think about it, there isn't really that many truly good Mario Kart games. <laughs> I mean, they all have pretty big flaws. It, honestly, racing game-wise, I mean, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed has probably been my favorite. I enjoyed yep, it more yep, than Mario Yeah, All-Stars Racing Transformed is, I mean, it, it lacks the polish of, like, Mario Kart 8, but um, in terms of content, uh, yeah, like, I would it, I would probably recommend All-Stars Racing if you want just a, a complete racing game. It's a lot of fucking fun. And in terms of the original, like, the uh, the N64, uh, the N64 generation, you got Diddy Kong Racing and oh, Craft yeah. Team Racing. Diddy Kong Racing! Of I, I love, that's, and that's actually, oh, that's a, that's a good point, too. I forgot, I literally rebought it on the DS and played through it again, because I really enjoyed Diddy Kong Racing. My Come man. on, guys. I think we're forgetting about the best racing game on N64, Snowboard Kids 2. <laughs> <laughs> but made by Atlas. You know, really, I mean, as far as the racing games, though, totally, if we're just talking generally racing games, one of my favorites is actually Sega Rally Championship for the Saturn. Um, only three levels, but it's it's pretty hard, and it was it was a lot of fun. The music's good. Um, and it controls well. It actually controls really... Probably one of the best controlling racing games I've played. In my, I mean, I'm probably hair biased, because I actually have a Saturn. But <laughs> <laughs> and none I like of you Sega do. GT on Dreamcast. <laughs> What's that? So I like I like Sega GT on Dreamcast. Oh, there you go. Uh, which, which is the one, guy for which is the one that Crush Forty did the music for first? Like this was before uh, they did uh, Adventure. It wasn't. It, was like it, a, it wasn't I mean, Sega there Rally. Was, there was a racing game where they had like one or two tracks in it, but like that they didn't do the entire soundtrack. It definitely. Was I think Jun Jun Sonoy at least was like a big part of that soundtrack. I remember. Um, let me let's see if I can confirm what that was. It was the one that had Revan up in it. Revan up? Oh, wait, that was Sega Rally, I think. Sega, yeah, Sega Rally Championship was a game he did, uh... Really? That, I didn't realize that. I think so. Well, on, on his first album, he does... There's a track on it called... Uh, Sega Rally Championship... Was it, it's JS Kickstart Edition, so I'm not sure if it's a remix of it, hmm. but I, I think some of his stuff stuff have been in those versions. I'm gonna have to check it out actually, because I I would like to. That would actually make a lot of sense, because I've I remember the tracks. Like as again, I just I recognize the name. I was like, oh, <laughs> how did this turn into a Sega Rally Championship plug? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna let's play it. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with you guys. <laughs> See, th this is what should have happened in Luigi's Mansion. 
Luigi dances <laughs> around dancing, the dancing to kill the ghosts. That's a point. Why isn't this a remix of the Luigi's Mansion thing? The Ghostbusters would be because 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 this was during the time when everyone hated Luigi's Mansion. What? There was a time and, where people didn't like Luigi's Mansion. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't remember that. There was a time on the internet where Luigi's Mansion was like hated by everyone, like by by those like those edge lord people who were like, hey, "Luigi's Mansion's terrible because it's not a Mario game and all that stuff." Oh, and so it wasn't until like that's why we can't have nice things. It wasn't until like early two thousand. Honestly, I think it was early twenty ten. Thanks, Hat Talk. When people were finally like, oh yeah, Louis, it, went, it went from being hated to being an underrated game to being like, oh no, duh, yeah, everyone thinks it's a good, it's a good game. That's crazy. Same thing that happened with Wind Waker. Same thing happened with Wind Waker. Uh, that's really because, at least, because I know, like, the internet wasn't around that long, like, when the game first came out, but in terms of, like, uh, official, uh, like, magazine reviews, Luigi's Mansion always got good scores, so, like, I, I always assumed that people loved it because I, I thought it was great. I mean, there, if you really look at it, a lot of Nintendo games have that kind of peep, uh, like, oh, like reviews come out, people like them, like a year or two later, it becomes completely hated by everyone because it wasn't what they wanted. And then it's more years later, they're like, oh no, it's actually good. But hopefully, ho hopefully that will not happen with Sonic Forces. <laughs> that will not happen with Sonic Forces. I can't wait for people to be like, oh, oh, Breath of the Wild is pure garbage. There are people now that say that. They're like, oh, just play Skyrim, it's better. And it's like, screw you. That was that was the worst fucking level in a video game I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. That was fucking pathetic. What a waste you had, of you my had to time. Press the left, you had to press the left and the right simultaneously. That's not how you walk, you fucking morons who made this game. First, you must put the beanbag thing underneath your feet. Then you must jump <laughs> on the DDR pad with the beanbag underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna put it is he gonna make it like uh wario makes the, it <laughs> yeah i i would i would pay for a dance dance revolution wario mix no you wouldn't or you, should I say <laughs> you dare groan at me that's a good line all right so i have i, I have an idea for what this should have been are you guys familiar with the Goman games, like Goman's Great Adventure and uh, Mystical Ninja Goman? I yeah. know, I know of them, but I don't think I've played one of them. So play them first off. If you ever have it. a? They're really great games, but they are just they are Japanese as hell and fantastic. But I can only imagine <laughs> with that if they would have made a DDR game out of that and making a storyline out of that, that would have been absolutely amazingly hilarious. <laughs> you know what? The only, the only game I, of of him I played in, and it goes back to the. Uh, keeping it in brand with, with this game and our recent discussion of um, kart races. There was a GBA game. It was like Mario Kart, but for just Konami characters. Hmm. And it was, it was pretty good. Um, I knew who I knew who none of the characters were because I never really grew up with Konami games. But um, it had this great mini game mode called Chicken, where like <laughs> you were like you you were like you were the person. Cheap, 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 cheap. Where you and where you and the person you played against either the um, computer or if you did the GBA link cables, you would just drive towards a cliff. And like the person who who got the closest to it without going off wind, I'm like that's that's such a genius oh. idea. Like that that was such a me, me and my cousin would just do we just play chicken mode for like hours. We would fucking race because we didn't give a shit. We would just did, did the winner get to have to get uh, KFC or? <laughs> no, the loser got KFC for the winner. Okay, I was making sure you did that right. <laughs> cheap, 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 cheap. Okay, by the way, that, so that, in case that, that sounds like a bunch of sorry, God. Now say that that sounds like a bunch of mini games from Mario Party. That'd be a really good Mario Mario Party mini game. That would be. I was gonna say for those of you who are watching this review, th this uh, let's play this review. way in the future, the Disaster Artist came out recently, so. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Nominate, the script was nominated for an Oscar. What a world we live in. I mean, it's, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's it's best movie. You you go see it. It's We live in a world where, where Logan and the disaster artist both have, both have Oscar-nominated screenplays get fucked, TJ. I'm just saying, Logan wasn't that great. That, them's fighting words. Them, them right there is fighting words. <laughs> And TJ, you like Amazing Spider-Man 2! 
Yeah, because I like Spider-Man. I know it's not a great movie. I don't think it deserves to win any award. Just because that kid made a wind turbine, DJ, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> If if, if 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 Laura made a wind turbine, would you like Logan <laughs> more or less? It's the, it's the it's the only English word she knows is wind turbine. How uh how bullied is she? TJ, I have a question for you though. In, in all honesty, Daphne and does Keen, Logan like like murder the bully? <laughs> he well, te- murders some people. He, well, mur- actually, he does. Well, he does murder. Yeah, technically. I, mean, I don't want to go into spoilers, but yeah, TJ, he technically that does. She kind of is bullied, and he does kind of end up killing the the, uh, the bullies. The, the movie came out over a year ago. So? Well, not quite. It came out in February, so almost a year. Yeah, it hasn't been a year, so get fucked. <laughs> although, but, although, by the time... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Gee, but gee, but gee, by, gee. by the time by the time this comes this LP comes out, that movie would have been out for six years, so I guess you're at this point. <laughs> Spoiler, don't, don't really mean anything. So... Well, Oh, I, I gotta finish this point, though. TJ, let me ask you. Daphne Keene, you're telling me she doesn't deserve an Oscar for... Because the little girl... You're telling me she doesn't deserve something for her performance? No, she does, yeah. All right. Just, I just didn't think TJ's overall... Like, TJ's like, give her a medium Coke with no ice, and it's fine. <laughs> no way. She was Overall, amazing. I just didn't care for the movie. I thought it was okay. Okay, that, that's less fighting words. TJ, whatever, what, uh, quick, quick tangent, which, which was here. So, TJ, what, I forget, what comic book movies did you like and not like this year? Uh, I didn't like most comic book movies this year. Wait, Logan was last year? Yeah, last year. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it was all, it was Logan, all Logan, Logan was, like, the first one. Logan came out in, like, February, so, like, Logan was really well, early that. in the year. Uh, let me pull up my list here. Guardians, so, Guardians 2 came Homecoming, out. Home, yeah. Ragnarok, mm-hmm. Wonder Woman, and Justice League. The only superhero movies I liked this year was Wonder Woman, Thor Ragnarok, and Kong Skull Island. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a comic book movie, you dipshit. Yeah, it's, Kong is a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not based off a comic book, so you're wrong. <laughs> Dumbass. I guess we can continue this discussion next part, so that way people can get in the middle of it. <laughs> Done. Good, good thinking. It, it's okay. We're used. We're used to this. 